You know, I, I saw the post, um, I think this afternoon, um, and it's clear that uh, Honorable Elvi is extremely uh, aggrieved uh, by the results of the convention and what took place. And, and, you know, that is her belief and she has the reason to believe that way. But I think uh, that moving forward as a party, um, every one of us within the party, whether it's on the executive, uh, in cabinet, we all need to reach out uh, to Honorable Elvi. She's a very close friend of mine, as was her brother, uh, my brother Dido Vega. Um, and she has done remarkable work in Corozal Bay, and we cannot discount that whatsoever. She has uh, been incredible as an era representative, and we want to see her involved. And so I know that I will do my part uh, as an era representative and minister to reach out to Honorable Elvi, uh, because clearly there needs to be some healing. So you feel like the, the comment she is she's making is more from the, the the bruise of the last and there's not really any material behind it well i i can't say i was not involved in the election process whatsoever and so um that would need some investigation again by the party representatives who were in charge of the convention um and so i wouldn't be able to speak on that so is it safe to say that you support the elevation since we know Mr. Chicken Dread here was feeding her cum. I, like I said, Honorable Elvi has been uh, nothing but amazing in my opinion. And so um, it's unfortunate that it went to the extent of a convention. Um, I certainly would have wanted her uh, to continue to, to do the good work in Corozal Bay. But we now have a new representative and we must uh, support Ms. Tia Garcia as well, Tia Garcia Ramirez. She is the new standard bearer moving into the next general election. Uh, that is the choice of the people of Corozal Bay and those, that is who we must now support.